So let's see how we can simplify square root of negative 300. And yes, I know we have a negative number inside of the square root, so this right here has no real value. But we went over on how to use the complex number to work this out, right? The imaginary number, the complex number, the i, right? The i business. So this is how we're going to take care of this. Whenever we have a negative inside of the square root, so let me just focus on this negative inside. What we are going to do is we're just going to take out an i. So this is equivalent to the i times the square root. And now, once I take out the i, then inside we just have the positive 300 right here. And square root of 300, is there anything that we can do? Yes, we ask ourselves, what times what will be 300? And one of the numbers shall be a perfect square. And I'm going to use 100 times 3. So let me break this down as square root of 100 times square root of 3. So at the end, this is what we're going to get. We know this is just what? Square root of 100 is just regular 10. It's just a nice number. And the way to write this down is, we'll put down the number all the way in the front first. So we'll put down the 10. And then I will maintain this i right here. And we we'll write down the radical at the end. So we have the square root of 3. At the end, this is 10i square root of 3. This is the answer. That's it.